family. Hello, family. Welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Kristen and welcome to Wild Living Watsons. As you guys see, I just took out um, some beef tips from the um, grass fed beef, pasture raised beef that we just purchased uh, a few weeks ago, about a month ago now. I'll link that at the top if you'd like to see that video. And I took out some red potatoes. I am going to make mashed potatoes this afternoon. Beef tips smothered in gravy, onions, and peppers, and some green beans from the um, green beans that Papa bought us from the garden. If you guys want to see that video as well, I will link that at the top. That is, who lighting is bad this way. Let's go back this way. The um, green beans are in the freezer. I did not pressure can this batch of green beans. However, if I do need to make space, like I do need to make space in a few of our freezers, I can pressure can those. I didn't take the pressure canner out that day when I was processing the green beans because I wanted to hurry up and do something with them since they had been sitting out for about a week. Um, but speaking of getting things out of the freezer, I have a lot of tomatoes I need to get out the freezer and we are getting low on salsa. I am counting now seven jars from the last batch that I just made. And I need to do some spicier salsa as well. And I want to do some spaghetti sauce because what I do is I tend to take out the tomatoes I need out of the freezer if we have spaghetti or lasagna. And I'll make the sauce right then and there. Yes, it's quick. It doesn't always take that long. I take some of those um, tomato paste cubes that I made too. If you want to see that video, I'll link that. Um, but sometimes I just want to pop open a jar. And just dump it in the meat or have the kids do it because it is slowing down but I still have a lot of stuff that I do need to take care of and sometimes being in the kitchen all day long is just not one of the things that I want to do so I am going to process some spaghetti sauce this weekend what was that I'm the only one in the house Okay, so I'm going to process some spaghetti sauce this weekend, some traditional salsa, what you guys have seen me can before, and then I am going to do a spicier version. I keep hearing something. A spicier version of the um, salsa. I need to clean up the island. The dishes are clean. We just got to put them away. The kids did them last night for me. I need to clean out the lunch boxes. I need to do something with that little tray. That tray has started to become a collect all tray and I don't like it. So I am going to um, probably do that on my lunch break. I probably won't. I do have a few orders that I need to finish up as far as crocheting. We do have a few skirt orders that are going out and I'll show you guys that too if you guys are interested. And um, what else I got to do? Hmm. I don't know. I know what some stuff I got to do. I just got to look at my calendar and see exactly what it is I have to do. I got to get this back filled. You guys, there's a lot of empty jars. There's a lot of empty jars because there's a lot of hungry kids in this house and they are eating up everything. I also did tell you guys that I found a, another bag of peach pits and peels. I am going to make some more peach syrup because we're down to one jar. Yes, one jar. Why? Because we have been drinking a lot of lemonade lately. We didn't even drink it during the spring. It's like now fall time and the lighting is horrible. It's fall time and it's like, oh, I want to taste a summer. Uh, I got to put that up too now that I'm seeing that. The boys just had a um, movie night. The boys in the neighborhood just had a movie night here and we pulled out the projector and had outdoor movie for them in gosh <laughs> in the driveway so I am now going to go ahead and go back upstairs and clock back in I took out the stuff that I needed for dinner um I just have to chop up a pepper because I had Kimora do some mash chopping of a bag of onions for me over the weekend so I got like two gallon size bag of chopped onions thank god I needed that I needed that done because Thanksgiving is coming up and I don't want to spend all day chopping and prepping. So I might have her do the celery for me today in the peppers. We'll see. But I'm going to go up here, tackle some laundry, get back to work, and I'll bring you guys back in the kitchen when it's time for me to make dinner. Okay, so I 
I'm on break. I'm not doing anything fancy or special to the beef tips. I'm just going to throw them in the pot with some um, onions and peppers, garlic, let it make its own juice. I don't have any um, beef broth, so I'm going to use the um, some beef base. I have a lot of soup bones, that's another thing. And I have a lot of um, marrow bones in the freezer from the cow, which I really do need to do some um, canned beef broth. So I am um, probably gonna do that. I'm not. I, I know I'm not gonna do it this weekend, but I probably will do it in within the next week or so. Oh, give me just a moment so I get these peppers. Oh, that was really packaged up hard. Like, I could not get that out. So, like I was saying, I do know that I have some things I got to do this weekend. And so, I'll probably do it throughout this week as far as doing the beef broth. I still want to do some um, ketchup and barbecue sauce. So, it's a lot of stuff that I want to do. It's just we have had a whole lot going on here lately at the house and just life in general with the kids. So I am going to go ahead up and chop this pepper, put the beef tips on. I threw them in the microwave for a little bit on defrost. I really don't like to use the microwave. I've been trying to reheat our stuff in like the air fryer or the oven, but I, um, I threw them in there because I wanted to sear them just a little bit before I let them slow cook on the flat top. I have some minced garlic I need to take out that is in a jar, but I am just going to use our pucks in the meantime. This is my last bag of the little pucks, which is maybe about maybe 20. Um, and then I have that jar in the freezer. I am going to uh, take that out and use that for my home meals, but I'm gonna chop up this pepper. Once I chop up the pepper, I am going to saute everything and get those beef tips browned up. And we will get that on the pot for dinner. I am gonna save these scraps because I have Thanksgiving coming up. Well, not I, but <laughs> we all have Thanksgiving coming up. So I'm just gonna save all the scraps that I can for any of um, from any of my vegetables like onions and stuff like that so that I can use it for our you know sides and stuffing and stuff when I make our um, broth. I do have chicken broth but I am going to try to utilize what we have right now. I pull out the chicken broth cans if I need to but right now I think I'm just gonna like I have on the meal plan to do a roasted chicken the week before. I'm going to save that carcass and put it in the freezer so that I can use it for broth with my veggie scraps to get that out my freezer too. And then that way, you know, the broth of the, the chicken that we used the week before Thanksgiving, you, we, you it just don't go to waste. Trying to eliminate a lot of waste around here. Look, had a little little baby in there. All right, I got my veggies chopped. What I need chopped now, I am going to go ahead and clean my meat before I put it in the pot. While the meat is soaking and getting cleaned up, I'm going to go ahead and drizzle some... Mm, I can't even get my words together. I'm not going to drizzle some oil. I am going to use some good old-fashioned butter. I'm going to use some butter, put my onions and peppers and garlic in here and the meat. And we are just going to top it over with some beef base and go from there. All right, our butter has browned. That is what I like to see. And now I'm just going to add some of those onions. And 
and our green peppers. Turn this up. All right, I'm going to throw two of those garlic pucks in there. And then I am going to season up my meat and put my meat in there with the beef base and let it simmer for a few hours. I like my beef tips falling apart. So sometimes what I'll do is to thicken up the, um, like the gravy or what you're gonna put on it, I will coat the meat, the beef tips in flour with the seasoning to um, to thicken up the sauce while it cooks. I'm not gonna do that right now because I do have to get back to work. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in there and I'll thicken that sauce up later once it has cooked. Well, I definitely have to clean my walls now because the plate, I had it on a paper plate and it was a little flimsy and now I have a little beef juice on my backsplash. Definitely got to clean that up. All right, I'm just going to season this up with some thyme, salt, and pepper and let this slow cook on the stove on a low medium with a little water and i'll show you guys when it has cooked down This late night uh, daylight savings thing is really wearing on me because it gets me tired or before I'm normally tired. Is tired a word? I don't think that's the word. So I just got the kids from my mom's house. I left the beef tips on, but I turned it super, super low and added a little bit more um, beef base and water to it. So um, Rico is actually on his way home. So that's why I was like, okay, I'll leave it on. If you go, gonna be heading home and I'm gonna be leaving out somebody uh, somebody will be here to look at it um so we are on our way back to the house so I can make the mashed potatoes and green beans this one has been over here uh imagining and concocting some things that she's gonna do with her beef tips because Kanaya doesn't eat mashed potatoes I don't know mashed potatoes is not weird hey, baby food. She said it gives her baby food. food. That baby food is very good then. But I like, thought about doing apple breakfast apple. potatoes for you. You want me to do breakfast potatoes for you and you just wait to have the noodles tomorrow? You can do beef tips for breakfast potatoes. No. Anyway, mm -hmm. so we are headed home. I am going to do the green beans, potatoes. She will determine whether or not she wants the breakfast potatoes because I can just chop up one potato for her and throw it in a pan with some onions and peppers, you know, and a little seasoning to make them like breakfast potatoes. She'll eat those, but she won't eat mashed potatoes. So we're on our way back to the house. We'll see you guys when we get to the kitchen. All right, we have gotten back home. The meat is still boiling. I still have good stock in it. It smells good in here. And I'm just happy about the future. Just always be anticipating greatness. Okay, I'm gonna show y'all what everything looked like. Okay, so the beef tips are super tender. They're not as like tender tender as I would like it. But they, ooh, it's hot. They are, as you can see, can you see? They're super tender. Like, I like for when as soon as I pick it up, it fall apart. 
I mean, it still fall apart. I'm going to leave it on here while I do my mashed potatoes and green beans, and then I'll thicken up this sauce. All right, so I have my potatoes starting to boil slightly, and then I have my breakfast potatoes back here for Kanaya. I just diced them up, seasoned them, and now I am going to add some onions and peppers to that, fry them up, and then let them steam for about 10 minutes. You taking some breakfast potatoes? Okay, get the, uh, hand me the onions. Okay. Um, hand me that pan that got the bacon fat on it. All right, I don't see what I'm looking for. I made some bacon yesterday for, um, what was it? We had breakfast for dinner. So I saved this pan to get the bacon fat for my green beans. Sit that to the side. Oh my God, I added a little bit of olive oil. Now I'm going to put some onions in there. And then I'm going to um, add my green beans and my seasoning. Just a little bit of onion. Because I'm going to use some um, onion powder and garlic powder too. Come on. Yeah. Come do this. Okay. So I put my potatoes in here and season them. I'm just going to add a little bit of water and some chicken base and dump that right here for the green beans. What am I doing? So I won't waste any of that flavor. And I'm still salt, salted, but I still, you know, don't want to waste anything. The green beans are in the freezer. Oh, those green beans. All right, we're going to use some of our garden beans. The only thing that we didn't get out the ground is the red skin potatoes, but... Next year, next year we will be getting it out the ground. Well, potatoes grow underground. Well, green beans grow on a bush from the ground or a pole vine. All right, our pot is steaming. And the potatoes add my green peppers to our breakfast hash. I'm going to bring you guys over to see it. And then I'm going to add just a little bit of water and let that steam for a second with a lid so that the potatoes can cook through. That's how I like to cook my breakfast potatoes. I like to pan fry them and then pan fry them in a single layer so they can get that crust and then I'll throw a little water in there to steam it or vice versa. Whichever one you feel like you want to do. Okay, Kamora, get the chicken base and put the beef base up. Give me a spoon. Add a little. Oh! Ah! Well, that was hot. Don't be like me. Should have roasted some garlic, but I'm just adding a little garlic powder, pepper, call it a day. That is dinner tonight. Mashed potatoes, green beans, gonna add our gravy thickener and Breakfast potatoes for the ones that don't want mashed. What are we still waiting on? Green beans. Once the green beans done, we are good to go. Oh my, I love your cooking. <laughs> I love your cooking too. Because you've been cooking lately. 
All right, so I just finished putting a little bit more seasoning in the green beans. You know, when you freeze green beans, they're different than the canned green beans, so you got to let it get that texture that you like when you can green beans. Again, don't worry. Those dishes are clean. They just have to be put up. Pay no attention to that. We're cooking dinner right now. Ah! Uh, you guys are slanted, too. Ah! <laughs> Yeah, you guys are slaying it because my stand is broken because my children. Yeah, one of y'all. Don't look like that. One of y'all. Fix your face. Um, yeah, green beans. Look, shirt all toe up. It's been a rough day today. I just add a little bit of cornstarch to thicken the gravy just a little bit because we don't really want a gravy. We just really want the, the tips or whatever. Um... Breakfast potatoes are done. Mashed potatoes just got done. I'm about to plate this up and we finna sit down and eat as a family. My bad. <laughs> Love you guys. I'll show you how it's plated up and we'll see you next time we are in the kitchen or this might be a day in the life. I don't know what it's going to be, but you guys are going to get this content. I love you guys. See you later. Oh my. So this is our meal with the breakfast potatoes. Meals. Let's good night. That's Kanaya's plate. Oh my gosh, get your fork. And this is with mashed potatoes. Ooh, the lighting. Mashed potatoes and our stewed meat and green beans. You like it, Nana? Hey, see, pause that. You can also do these beef tips like a Mississippi pot roast with the pepperoncinis and stuff. I might try that the next time. Y'all want to try Mississippi pot roast? Why not? I don't know what he's saying. You don't eat no pepperoncinis. You don't have to eat the pepperoncinis with just the seasoning and the flavors and the juices from it.